Welcome back to another video. It's your usual Monday video. As y'all can tell, I have been busy as you know what, and I have not been able to do any videos at all. I apologize. It's just life is so crazy. I'm just getting overwhelmed. New project at work. Haven't finished the last 17 projects that I've been doing and kind of lurking around the discords. I haven't even been much in the discord. Y'all know I'm really normally really active in the wing bits discord and I think I might've typed in it two or three times over the last week since this last video last Monday. It's uh, I got this conference coming up. I leave to go out of town Wednesday. I won't be back until the following Friday. I will still at least try to do this Monday video next Monday, just to kind of give you all an update. It might be a quick more overview, but I'll still at least try to get some kind of content up. Um, this conference is an electronics type of communications conference. So if I see anything that might be somewhat crypto related, or if there's any kind of crypto classes or anything like that, as far as this conference is concerned, I might give some updates on that. But first, you know, if y'all can just hit the like button, it does a lot for this video. It helps out a lot. It helps out the algorithm that any of the projects that we talk about that I list in the title or anything like that. If anybody's searching it, they'll come across this video and hopefully learn something and get more um, info from this video. So please just take a half a second, hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe as trying to keep this updated, looking at a couple of new projects that people are, you know, I'm always getting some kind of email or some kind of message on Discord. Hey, what do you think about this project? And kind of looking into one or two, three of them, but nothing that's really overwhelmed me that I'm like, oh, I gotta get on this right now. I have several, as y'all going to see shortly. So hit that thumbs up button and uh, let's get to it. All right, so let's see if we can catch up and see what's going on in the markets today. Seems like in the last eight hours, if y'all been at work and haven't kept up, y'all might not want to go look because, hey, we've been doing this seesaw yo-yo thing for, you know, four months now, it seems like. And I told everybody that I, it's going to go up to 70 again. I'm sure there'll be some profit taking. And guess what you had today? It hit 70 and it had some profit taking. Alts. From what I kind of looked at, didn't seem to take as much of a hit as Bitcoin did. But let's just take a look, real quick look at the charts, just to kind of catch up with what's going on to see. You know, we like to compare the charts. Whatever we see going on in these charts right here, we like to kind of see that same thing, hopefully, with our projects. If we see it exceeding what the charts have been doing, that means that's really good for that project. If we see that project going down when charts go up, Sometimes it's not a good sign. So as y'all can see right here, we had Bitcoin test 70,000 this morning. At about This was uh, about 0, 0800, 8 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time here in the United States. It hit 70,000. You had this good momentum going on. Everybody was so excited. You know, Donald Trump was at the Bitcoin conference promising all these unicorns and everything for, for everybody in Bitcoin. and Everybody fell in love. So 70,000, you just started having some selling, talk, profit taking. As usual, from what I'm seeing online, what I'm watching online, people showing charts, liquidations, liquidations, liquidations killed us. Again, use stop loss. I'm not here to, 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 to preach to anybody. I'm not your daddy or anything like that. But if you're going to do leverage, you have to use stop losses and you have to just use protection. I guess I do sound like a daddy, huh? But they had like millions of dollars of, of liquidations and that's what catapulted this even worse. Where's it going to stop? Is it going to go sideways and just recover? I don't know. I mean, you're right back where you were Saturday, you know, in the overnight hours. So What's that, 24, 48 hours, 36 hours? You're right back to where you were. And you know, maybe you'll test at 70,000 again. We don't know. But 
that's what's going on with Bitcoin right now. You know, you went from 70,000 down to 66,000. You lost 4,000 in about four hours. This is the one hour chart. But you've, you've had a little bit of recovery. I mean, this candle didn't even close out. So, you know, it closed out 66.9, but you, you're up to 67 now. So it's going kind of sideways a little bit down this hour, but it kind of gives you a general idea. Ethereum, this is the one hour chart right here. And you know, Ethereum took that hit over the weekend, but I told everybody last week about the ETF. I told everybody Bitcoin last time, people took profits. The price didn't go skyrocket after the ETF. And I warned everybody last, I know I'm not a big TA guy, y'all don't come here for that, but I try to tell y'all, people wanna get their hopes up and everything like that. And sometimes because I'm not this big TA guy, I can kind of look at it from the outside. But I told everybody, you're not gonna see this huge push because this price jumped up when ETFs were announced. Maybe call it profit taking, maybe call it liquidations getting shorted, I don't know. But, you know, same thing in, in about, you know, eight, uh, you had, you know, a couple of hours, you went from 3,400 down to, so you lost 4,000 in ETH, but it is recovering. But you do see where, again, this morning, you have this price drop. It is also coming up also. So that's Ethereum. Again, long term, I think the ETF can only help, but a lot of analysis people said that you they didn't think you're going to have this big ultra push like you did with Bitcoin. Same thing with Solana. They keep saying Solana is the next one. I think it's going to be even less eventful. Is it going to help? Of course, it opens it up to people who can buy that couldn't buy before. But every time you enter a new ETF, there's less money to go around. There's only so many people putting this putting this money into crypto. Again, this is what other people are saying they got videos on it, they got articles on it, and they even broke it down to you know how much money would be available for a Bitcoin ETF and so on. And every ETF after that, you're not going to have that kind of income, you know, coming into it. So Cardano, Cardano was up to 42 cents, <laughs> is down to 40. Um, that is the 15 minute chart. But yeah, it, it don't look any better. Like it. So AVAX. You'll know I'm very big into AVAX. AVAX was $28. When it started its decline, came down to $27. It's only dropped a dollar. So again, this is the 15 minute chart. When you look at the one hour chart. So I keep telling you, I'm DCA and into to AVAX, no, not financial advice. Solana, I told y'all, told y'all, told y'all to be buying Solana at these kind of pricing. I told y'all, I really like Solana. I'm, I'm, I don't care what people say about the project, about the network stalling or anything like that. There's a lot of stuff going on with Solana. And you look at it how right here, you know, it was at $120, $130 not too long ago. And I told everybody, buy, buy, buy. Not financial advice, not financial advice. It's what I'm doing. And not only am I converting my 6 or $7 or whatever it is, we'll see what it is shortly, of IoT every day I'm converting that to Solana majority of the times i'll explain that to you later but i've been doing it so i have been slowly building up that solana so there's days when i'm converting you know seven dollars worth of solana when it was at 120 dollars. so now that's worth a little bit more it might be nine ten dollars i don't know i didn't do the math but i try to tell you all that dca and then buying a little bit every day every day or every payday is going to add up especially if you've been buying this since eight ten twelve dollars like i have and like i've been trying to tell you all all right, moving on to our passive income projects. I'm gonna try to make this video a lot shorter. I have a lot of stuff to go do. I gotta start packing for this trip and everything like that. So this isn't gonna be an hour long video. There's some stuff I'm just gonna skip over because I'm sick of repeating the stuff at the same week. I'll just say, go watch last week's video, find that chapter that's gonna cover it. So we're gonna start with our passive income projects and we're gonna talk about WeatherXM. WeatherXM right now is still holding the top spot. Last checked earlier today, it was 66 cents. When you look at the chart, it is down a little bit. You know, it was at 70, maybe 70 cents at, during our last video. Um, yeah, somewhere around 70 cents. So we are down a tad. Of, but when you figure that price increase, I mean, that price drop we just had, I really don't think 
point seventy seven is bad over the last um, twenty four hours. Yeah, so last last Monday it was at seventy cents. It's at sixty six cents now. So as far as the passive income project itself is concerned, I have two hundred five Weather XM tokens, which are worth about one hundred thirty five dollars. So I'm making about $2 a day right now, which when you compare with the rest of these projects is pretty decent, $60 a month. And if the price goes back up, you know, it could, you know, it gets back to that, I think it was at 90 cents to a dollar at one point. Hey, it looks even better. You know, I'm not gonna keep regurgitating the same stuff every week, but you'll know whether XM, I'm in it more for the weather geek side of me. Um, fun fact is that, while I'm in this conference in Florida coming up next week, there should be a tropical storm or possible hurricane coming through. So, yeah, I drive to the hurricane. Yeah. I didn't know I was a storm chaser. But, yeah, so that's Weather XM. It's just mine. It's just up there doing its thing. Moving on to GeoNet. GeoNet's about to get a quick swift in the rear end from me because you all know me. I, I can't talk positive about anything. But in a lot of these projects, we've always preached to people, don't use Wi-Fi. Don't use Wi-Fi. Wired is so much more stable. And I am proving that every day with GeoNet. I'm sick of fighting the Wi-Fi issues. Look, it's on a rooftop. They want you to put it up there or as high as you can and all this stuff like that. And you got to understand, and look, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to explain that I can't be the only person having this problem. I don't see a lot of people complaining about it. I don't know what they're doing. But my point I'm trying to make is there has to be a way that you can, or there should have been a way that you could hardwire Ethernet to it. I've even added an external 2.4 gigahertz and Wi-Fi antenna to the outside, and it'll be connected for a while with no problem. And all of a sudden, when I come back the next day, it's not connected anymore. But yet my other items on this building that are using Wi-Fi have no problem, and they're not losing connection. So I don't want to hear like I did from certain people. I don't even go to the Discord right now because I'm going to get banned. Don't blame it on my Wi-Fi when my other prop, my other things aren't having this issue. So, and somebody said, well, just put an access point next to it. Yeah, that's no problem. That, that's super duper easy. So right now, as I make this video, I don't want to show it to you. I don't want to go through all the mess of trying to hide my keys and stuff like that. So right now, my Wi-Fi is showing that this is connected. It's been connected down for one day. 12 hours, 13 minutes, it's been connected with uptime, and that's per my Wi-Fi controller with that MAC address. So it's showing it's connected right now. However, right now, when you go to the GeoNet website, I'm offline. However, 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 when you go to the network history tab that's go that goes through the miner, it shows all these lines when it was online or satellite mining, whatever like that. It's practically solid. There, I mean, there's a gap here, a gap here, a gap here, but it's not offline 50% of the time like the dashboard says. And again, my my Wi-Fi controller is saying it's been it's been online. So my Wi-Fi controller right now says it's been online for one day, 12 hours. 47 minutes and 38 seconds. So that's 36 hours straight it's been online. I'm showing it with a very strong signal. So what's the problem? And again, I have other devices on there, um, wing bits and different things like that, using that same Cat6 Ethernet that feeds that access point and all of, the, all of us online. So I'm not losing the internet up there. There's other stuff that's Wi-Fi that's not related to this, that's not losing connection, shows 100% connected, not having dropouts. So 
either as usual, I just had the bad luck or whatever. But I'm not happy with GeoNet. I'm not happy with the way the Wi Fi keeps dropping. If that's only me, then that's only me. I haven't had a chance to really look around. But when I brought it up in Discord, they said it was just me. So I guess it's just me. It screwed that project. Moving on Helium. Helium's still up here. Still making about 6,600 a day average with the price staying pretty stable over the last seven days. 0 0.0009, that's what it was seven days ago. So, you know, today you had a little bit of a drop with this with the, with this drop we saw earlier. Um, for the month, it's still up 43%. So that is good. Y'all know, again, I have several hundred thousand of helium sitting in a wallet. And every day I'm just moving that. Whatever I make that day, the 6,000 or so tokens, I'm moving to Solana. For those who want to keep up with Helium Mobile, Helium Mobile is down 16% in the last seven days. So it's not staying steady with Helium um, IoT. You know, one time it seemed they kind of ran together, but they kind of have a mind of their own now. But 0 0.001. Um, not really that much drastic difference between these two prices where at one time you really did see that. However, helium still kind of holding strong. I was very proud of helium, very happy to see it make it back to five dollars. I think at one time it was, you know, not too long ago, it was like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. So, you know, you look and we basically are at the same point. 503 is what we were seven days ago. Way to go, helium. For the month, helium is up 50%. 50%. So, like I said, it was down to, it was like $3 or something like that. And uh, last year was a dollar five, dollar something. But anyway, so we are up on the almost $2 since not two, three weeks ago. So that, that is very well, very good for helium. I'm glad to see it. It's, it, it's, I know people, some people have written it off, but it's still holding steady. There's a lot of projects using it. Nadix. Not much more I can say about Nadix because the Nadix, again, I don't care for it, but it is what it is. Nadix does not give you your tokens until the end of the month. I think that needs to change now that they're on mainnet. Maybe it is. Maybe I just haven't read that yet or haven't seen it. But, you know, you collect your thousands and thousands. I'm at 65,000 points. And at the end of the month, depending on how I'm ranked, it will be how many Natix tokens I actually get. Right now, I'm still sitting at 158,000 Natix tokens. As far as Natix's price is concerned, there has been some pretty decent price increase in this last seven days. It's up 25%. I think that's very well with the amount of people who are knocking this project, when I make videos of this project and they want to come in there and be a little smart, you know what's, um, donkeys, donkey rear ends. Oh man, you know, what you making a dollar a day, whatever like that. It's a free project. I don't care. It's a free project using an old phone that sits on my dashboard. When I leave my house or I'll leave my office or wherever I'm going, I press start and you don't touch it. So what if you're only making a couple of dollars a day? You hodl it, you save it up, and then who knows? If the price increase keeps going up like this with a bull market coming, who knows what it's going to be worth? For a free project, you don't have to pay nothing for. I'm sorry you're not getting Lambos with it, but why wouldn't you? I got codes in my description. If those codes don't work, please let me know because each code is only a one-time use. That's the stupidest thing ever. If Natix is trying to draw more people to their project, why would you make a one-time use only code? So if one of those codes don't work, try the next one, then try the next one. You get a bonus for coming for starting out. I get a bonus for referring you. You know how referrals work in crypto. It's basically the same thing. But I don't think it's that bad. I'm very excited, curious, pondering, can't wait to see what my profit is going to be at. Because, again, I haven't gotten any new tokens for a month. When you look at a month ago, I was at 119,000 tokens. Right now I'm at 58. So let's just say it's 59. So, so using my college math that I failed, 
if you look at kind of just where I was the last month to where I am this month, I gained 40,000 tokens. That, that puts me at right about 198, 199,000. That would put me somewhere around $240 that I would have worth of this token in my pocket on a project I didn't pay a dime to get into and used an old phone. If, if you don't think that's good when you compare this to some of these other projects we're talking about, I mean, that's a, that's a dollar 40, a dollar 50 a day average that I made doing this project that didn't cost me nothing. It's still more than what Helium's doing. I can't figure out GeoNet because my device won't stay long enough. It's, it's not WeatherXM, but you didn't, you didn't pay for WeatherXM, so you don't have to worry about the ROI. Speaking of ROIs, we're going to talk about that in a second because I don't want to give you all, I don't want to go ahead yet because I'm not finished with Natix, but Demo's at it again. Natix, another reason I'm super excited is I think I'm going to get more than 40,000 tokens. 40,000 is should be, I'm guesstimating, what I would receive just from my amount of tokens I have. However, because I haven't moved any tokens, I am eligible for the HODL airdrop. I'm a diamond HODLer because I have not gotten rid of a single token. This, this will happen on August 1st. Now, August 1st, I'm going to be on this trip, but I really will probably try to do a short from Mickey Mouse's Playhouse or something. Um, letting everybody know, hey, this is what I did. This is what Nadix did and everything. You know, I have no idea what this is going to be. If y'all have any ideas of some kind of numbers or something, let me know. I mean, if if it's 60% of, I'm just guessing, look, and that could be completely wrong. Don't, please don't take, you know, what this does. Is it 60% of whatever the airdrop's supposed to be or 60% of whatever's in your wallet? Can't see it being 6% of what's in your wallet. But who knows? You know, that, that'd be close to another 100,000 tokens. Can't see it, but who knows? But I, I'll try to do a quick update video to let y'all know what it's going to be or what I got that day. Moving on to demo. I think maybe I need to start a new section that's called PO'd at projects. It might be, it might be too, too big. <laughs> I'd put it right next to, right next to GeoNet. But y'all know I was all excited last week. All excited because for the first time in months, in months, four or five months, whatever it was, I, I, last week I had ROI. Look, I even took the little stripe off. I had ROI on all my devices. Paid ninety dollars for device plus shipping, but I'm gonna say it's ninety times three. Up to two hundred seventy bucks. I was finally over over it. I was finally, finally in the green or the black, whatever you want to say. And guess what? Price of the token dropped. I'm back to two hundred sixty-two dollars, and I had to go put the line back through here. Some people, the reason I, some people tell me don't harp on ROI. You know, once eventually you make it, you you just getting them laying you up tokens, as we say in South Louisiana. Some people, that's all they want to know is how quick can they ROI so they know they're safe after everything Helium did to them. And a lot of people came from Helium, never ROI on devices. You know, I didn't really just go into details with that with Helium. I had people ask me all the time, would you still go back into Helium? They got a device for e on eBay for $150. Why? It's going to take you 500 something days, if ever, to ROI. So same thing I like to tell you with Demo. Demo, you're making um, 42 cents a day. Now, what I will say again, like I say it all the time is, is you have a device that's like this size and you plug it in your vehicle. Once it's set up, you don't have to touch it. I have it in my son's truck and my wife's car also. They don't have to worry about anything. They just drive like they normally do. And that's it. So it is convenient and easy compared to some of these other projects. Again, at 42 cents a day, I question if any, because people ask me, so I'm telling y'all, so people get upset at this, but I question, would you still buy this today? If you have no problem making 42 cents or less if the, pro if the price keeps going down, or if it goes up 50 cents a day, if you have no problem making that kind of ROI and taking six months plus to ROI on your device, you, you take a chance. So since I've updated my my um, prices earlier, 
Demo has still come down. It was at 18 cents when I was working on uh, updating my sheet earlier. And um, actually, I got the price off Coinbase because you can buy that on Coinbase. And um, apparently, Coinmark has a little bit of discretion, uh, discrepancy. But, you know, you're down 14% over the last seven days. Some, some of our projects have been up, some down, some up. But, you know, Demo, I, I don't know. Um, Demo is one we definitely missed the bus on to a point if you're looking for that high profit. If you have no problem with the slow and steady, the slow and steady profit making or passive income, then, then Demo's fine. You know, and you can go into Demo. Um, but my argument is for the people that want to throw shade, as the kids say, over Natix, because what you're only making blah, 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 a day. I'm making more in Natix the way it looks. You know, again, next Monday is going to be a huge tell on Natix on how much I'm making. I think, think it's going to be surprised. And it may even move up above Helium, IoT, and GeoNet next week. Hint, hint if the numbers are going to be where I think they are. And my point I'm trying to make is you paid for $600 for a GeoNet that can't stay online, $700 for GeoNet that has a problem staying online. Helium IoT, $0.36 cents a day. Demo, $0.42 cents a day. Nadix is making more than that, and you didn't pay for anything. Demo is $90-something a device, $99 a device. Helium, you're paying who knows what. Nadix was free. You'll see why I keep harping on Natix, and yet nobody's using my codes, nobody's joining Natix, and it's free. Again, it's not financial advice, but this is a passive income project, and I think people, I don't know. I don't know. All right, going to the Chirp. Y'all know I am very, very high on Chirp. Very high on Chirp. Um, I'm, I'm hoping for the best with it. I'm at 37 hundred chirp which since last week that's about 900 chirp um there's also a big airdrop campaign going on right now and what's cool about the big airdrop campaign from what it looks like you don't have to even own a chirp device you can learn about it on the discord so on tropy t-r-o-p-e dot com that's who's handling this contest or this airdrop whatever you want to call it um, you go and you do these different tasks that's underneath. You've probably seen them before. Again, I don't think you have to own a Chirp device to be able to do this stuff. Um, I'm trying not to completely flood my Twitter X page with this. So you can see I still have some devices that I have. I mean, some um, social media things I have not done. I have done some of these. And I have already signed up for, use 40,000 of my points for this airdrop. 20,000 for this airdrop and a medium airdrop also. This goes on for another 28 days. And I'm going to continue trying to do some of these things without going crazy and try to join some of these airdrops. Um, I don't know what the exact amounts are going to be. But hey, if it gets the word out there, I'm all about it. Wing bits. Um, no really new news on the wing bits thing. Again, I have been so busy. I have not been in the Discord as much as I want. I kind of enjoyed being in that Discord, trying to help people out. I am the grumpy dad. It's not just a name. I wear the hat. And there are some times where, you know, I'm getting to a point where it is starting to get a little aggravating that you, you know, we have several people in this Discord. And, and what's cool also, I'll say, is kind of like a parent growing up, uh, you know, with some of my young... But like you see people who are now helping other people out who were just came in a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, and were in here a lot, who learned a lot of stuff, setting up their own, you know, good things, failures and stuff like that, learned a lot. And now you can see they're helping people out also. So, you know, there's a lot of people in here now who who know some good stuff. I talk about plus one twenty. Y'all probably know him from some of the previous um discords, like Helium, stuff like that. You know, Eric Anderson, um, you got Axie, you got, you know, you got a couple of different guys in here who know what they're talking about, who are trying to help people out. But my point I'm getting at is every now and then you get somebody who wants to reinvent the wheel. I want to use this antenna. And, you know, you try nicely to tell them, you know, we don't have the wing bits name next to us, 
So I guess people think we don't know what the hell we're talking about. And they want to use this goofy antenna. And you're trying to tell them either A, we've tested that before, or B, that kind of antenna is not going to work for this, whatever, whatever. And they insist on doing it. And then they, the, the next thing you know, they're crying. Some of them are crying that why I'm only getting X amount of, of tokens a day and I'm not getting what other people are getting, you know. Or they want to set up two or three devices all in the same area and really just splitting it off with each other. If you're not getting a different coverage, there's no reason to do it. There's no reason to do it. So I've learned it out myself the hard way. But that was me just helping friends and family get online after the last debacle project that I'm trying to decide if I'm going to discuss or not because they got some shenanigans going on, but I promised myself I wouldn't talk about them no more. So stay tuned in the end of the video, and who knows? If I keep getting this, this, this grumpy over some of these projects, you never know what's going to happen at the end. So it's a cliffhanger for y'all. Um, so wing bits, I'm getting 10,000 over the last seven days. So you can kind of see my average here. Another thing is, and maybe I'm just getting burnt out, but unlike GeoNet, this is on me with just a, some of the different setups. But when you have the amount of setups I have, I think this one account right now has got like 13 on it, which is my account. I think it's not my friends or family or like that. It's like I got a device going offline at least once or twice a week. I got I got to track it down, figure out which one it is. I can't wait until they do emails that will tell me instead of it telling me my three name, you know, three name, three word name, bouncy rainbow, whatever. I want to say what my alias is. Main Street. New Orleans camera is offline. Don't tell me Bouncy Rainbow is offline because I don't know where the hell Bouncy Rainbow is when I'm running 25 stations for me, my friends, and family. Tell me Main Street so and so is offline, whatever my alias is. Corpus Christi, Texas, because that's what one of my aliases is, is offline. And that makes me go directly there. Instead of me having to go figure out, go online here and figure it out over my spreadsheet, I can go directly on it. Um, so my, you know, my awards rewards are averaging 15 to 1600 a day. Some days more, some days less, depending on what the, which ones are online. My, my station down here that, um, is my, again, I always talk about my station is 10 foot off the ground. That is, um, my best station when it's a 10 foot off the ground but I can't keep it online to save my life. It's got a cellular connection on it. And either somebody where it's at accidentally unplugs the cellular Wi-Fi device, um, the hotspot or whatever, because they got to plug something else in and then they don't plug the thing back in. And then, you know, it's at a fishing camp. So it takes three or four days for somebody else to go back down there and plug it back in when they go fishing the next weekend or something. And some days it stays up for a week. Some days it stays up for less than 24 hours. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's pain in the rear end. But, you know, when you got somebody hosting it for free and it's a buddy of yours, you kind of deal with that. But if this was one of my poorer stations, you know, getting one or two, uh, uh, you know, uh, with, a, with, with a hex, I would say, screw it. Whatever happens, what happens with it. But when it's giving you all these wings a day, you want it to be online all day, every day day corpus christi's on wi-fi again it's hit and miss because where he installed it at get it to host he said if you want to hear this is where i'm gonna have to install that behind my house wi-fi is kind of shady there he's not going to run another cat five for another access point don't nobody has to say that but again when you start getting some of these tokens that you're getting off of it that you know it, it's it works itself out i mean it it, it benefits you you don't want to see it offline. Again, that's on me. I can't blame it on the project like some of these other problems I'm having. This is also my other setup here that um I have here, and you should be seeing something soon. Hopefully, come online here. I'm in tough contract negotiations. Some people don't realize what test net means, and they just want crazy money. But my goal was to be the Gestapo of the golf, and as you can see, I have that covered. All right, moving on to T-Source or Chain. 
I'm at 13,129 right now. I've had about almost 1,200 tokens since last week. I'm staking all of my tokens on Dash Tech. If y'all are in this project, you have to be staking. Not financial advice, but you have to be staking. There's nothing else you can do with the token right now. Last I saw, the token wasn't going to get um, released to mainnet until September, unless there's a new announcement that I'm looking at right now as I talk to you. I don't really see anything. Um, so you might as well be staking it. I'm making an additional 50 tokens every 24 hours in staking. Think about it. Just to make 50 tokens with this project alone takes almost all day if you're driving around. And I'm making that every day and just validating validator rewards. And of course, as you stake more, your rewards become more. So I have a video out there, but it's very easy to do through the app. You know, you claim all your tokens, you put them in your, in your little wallet inside the app. You go to staking. It asks you to pick a validator. Please use Dash Tech. I just type Dash and it pops up and I stake everything through Dash. I, then, I take my rewards every day and press restake and it stakes it right back into Dash. So I just keep multiplying them up and it, it's, it's working out. I'm hoping, you know, this project was similar to Demo in the beginning. That's what people want to compare it to. I, I don't know. Nobody knows the future of all these projects, but you would think that with everything going on, that it, the fact that you had to pay for this to get into it, the, you know, tokenomics aren't nothing crazy, you know, out of the box. Amount of tokens, so you hope there's some value to these tokens whenever it does go to mainnet. For announcements, there is some new dash pool thing that's out. Um, AI road monitoring tool on ton integrates with Telegram, powered by Sword Chain, and the dash pool team. I'll be honest with y'all, I haven't really looked into this. I saw it the other day, I meant to go back and look into it. I don't have Telegram on this exact computer, so I might have to use one of my other computers or my phone to look into it some more. I'll be, I will look into it. Y'all know if it's something that we really need to be involved in. I'll either do a separate video on it or short, or definitely we'll be covering it on next Monday's video if it looks like there's something that that looks legitimate. You know, when I do some homework on it, so I'll be checking into that and getting back to y'all. Silencio. I think it's in the right spot being number four, even though I'm gonna tell you, I really like this project as far as doing it. Um, I run Silencio all the time. I have completely given up any hope of the ranked system. I question it. There has to be, and I hate to accuse this because I have zero evidence to show, but there has to be some type of gaming going on only because when I run this constantly, run it constantly, and I continue to go down in rankings. If I'm running it constantly, then what are these people doing? There has to be some type of, and I'm just spitballing here. I cannot prove any of this. I'm not saying that this is happening. In case anyone wants to take this sound blurb or anything like that. But I don't know if there's some way that these kids have figured out how to manipulate it to where as soon as the sound is done, that reading for 30 minutes, it automatically restarts it. I don't know what it could be. I just know is that I set a timer on my watch when I'm at different places. Today I went to the doctor just for my usual checkup and I sat there and started it, put a 30 minute timer on and I'm just running it and running it and running it. Went to lunch today, running it, running it, running it. And I'm losing ranking. It is what it is. I'm at 182 day streak, gained 4,000 tokens since last. There's actually no news on anything as far as of legitimacy right now as or hope because this is the only thing in announcements again still talking about this stupid football challenge they must really like this soccer that's the only thing i can think of because it ain't real football it's soccer um you know they, they keep saying that there's going to be tge quarter three 2024 we're in quarter three 2024 they're still on the peak network which i'm surprised about because about everybody else has pulled off the peak network they say that they're still using them for certain things. But let's be honest, majority of these projects have moved on the uh, 
to Solana or some other chain because Peak wasn't quite ready or they wanted something that was a little more battle tested. So, and who knows? This 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 could change before quarter three, twenty twenty four. So, I'm still running Silencio. I have a code if you want to get into Silencio. What's cool about it also is like Nadix, it's a completely free project that does not cost you anything to get in. You just run it on your phone. So, you know, you can try it out and see what happens and hope for the best that when PGE comes out, that 115,000 tokens is worth something. I don't know. Um, it, it's going to be interesting. Upside, you know, I include upside is because to me, it's still a passive income that you can make while it's not crypto related. Oh, they got some bad thunder outside. I'm going to have to check my weather XM. Oh, my weather XM says it's 91.8 degrees. Here we are at 6 p.m. almost. 91.8 degrees with 107 heat index with two mile an hour of wind. That's a cool breeze. So humidity is only 80%. Yeah. Going back to upside. So I got I fill up one time. I got six dollars. Um, I might have had like a little bonus or something with it. I just did another fill up today. Um, hundred dollars worth of diesel almost. Again, what's cool about it is it doesn't matter if you use fleet cards for work or if you're getting discounts like through I'm gonna say like a shell gas station where you get those rewards and stuff like that, and you have to you know, get a little discount. It doesn't matter. As long as you go into a station that accepts upside, I think it's I think it's a cool way of making some money. I mean, I've been using it for a couple of months and I'm about to hit a hundred dollars. When when and don't you my point is you're not even doing in like Silencio and some of these other projects, you have to actually do something different from your routine. You don't normally go to your phone to take sound readings. But upside, you have to get diesel or gas in your vehicle for those who have vehicles. So why not use it and make some extra money in there? So I do have a code for upside. It gives you a head start, like maybe five or ten dollars or something like that. It gives me a little bit of a bonus for using it. I've had, you know, two or three people who have used it since I started talking about it. Thank y'all. But again, it also helps y'all out by giving y'all a head start. So jump at it. Hive mapper. I was thinking earlier, to me, Hive Mapper is kind of like the long distance girlfriend that you're really, really interested in. You, but you don't know if she's really a supermodel like she says she is in her pictures or if you're getting catfished. And that's how I feel about Hive Mapper is it's a long distance relationship that still I'm still waiting to arrive at the airport as I'm sitting there with my roses. And I don't know when it's going to come. I don't know when the airplane is going to arrive. I don't know if, you know, she's going to be as pretty as she is in her pictures or if I'm going to get catfished. And that is that is honestly how I feel about Hive Mapper. There's no other way for me to describe it. I tell you all every week and it still does not change. I change my mind every day, five times a day. Do I want to cancel this or not? I read, watch videos, read forums, talk to certain people in DMs, and I'm telling y'all, talking to them, I'll talk to one guy and say I'm canceling this, and I'll talk to another guy and listen to his story, and I'll keep it going. The only reason I'm keeping this going, the only reason I'm keeping this going at this point is because, I'll tell y'all, the only three roads around here, the three main roads, interstate and two U.S. highways, are mapped. Everything else in my area. Well, you know, we have parishes in Louisiana, not counties. But for the three surrounding parishes east to west, in the two or three parishes south of me that I go to for meetings and for work related stuff, or I go deal with amateur radio stuff, I got repeaters at, or I even have wing bit stations at, none of them roads are mapped. None of them. But I can't get nobody to tell me the difference of what they're getting paid right now for unmapped versus mapped roads. And how many? You know, me just going down two or three streets here that are unmapped, I'm sure I'm not going to make some great money. But on the positive, on the positive, Honey is still holding strong right now 
at seven, a little over seven cents. Started the day out at seven and a half cents, and it's moved up a little bit. It's moved up 10%. Yeah, y'all get ready. 10% in seven days. As the last video we did seven days ago, it was at seven cents even. Now it's at a little over seven cents. And for the month, it's up 43%. 43%. You know, glad I didn't cancel when I see this. But again, I'm gonna tell you again, I'm gonna change my mind three more times before the next video because you know I, I just want to be able to ROI and at some point and I don't know, you know, we still have this bonus. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure they still have a bonus that when you buy it, you get four thousand bonus tokens. And currently at the price right now at point zero zero seven, that's three hundred and eight dollars. So that means I just need $120, $130 to ROI before the end of this project. I mean, um, to ROI on this project at the 1,200 miles. You know, right now, I, I, I'm going to keep it coming. For the negative, because you know I'm going to find one, and I'm going to tell you all about it, there's zero ETA on when this is going to arrive. I showed you all last week a video. I spoke about the video from Hive Mapper. And they were distinctly asked about the B shipment. And they were talking about later this year. And you got one or two videos out there where people are saying they can't see it. And I'm going to tell y'all, if this thing don't ship this year, uh, y'all think y'all have seen some live videos, lively videos from before. That is, you can't advertise this thing for a year like you've been doing it for the last five, six months. And trying to convince people to switch to it. And you not even ready to ship these things out or even close, remotely close. To getting ready to ship these things out you should let people continue with their little regular hive mapper cameras baby you know instead of hounding me with emails non-stop about the b apparently it's something better with the camera because i'm supposed to be getting you know me having a b going down these roads versus somebody having the regular hive mapper camera i'm supposed to get both get more rewards because i have the b you know i don't know um i can tell you now i'm only buying one i got people who keep trying to convince me to buy two to put one on the side, I'm like, there's no way I'm spending nine hundred dollars on this. No way. I don't care what the rewards are. It's not taking a chance. I've learned from helium. I've learned from other people's helium mistakes. I'm not taking that chance. Get my get my one device, and and call it even. If I continue to let it go, right? So right now, with the price going back up and everything, I'm gonna keep holding out. So hopefully by next, hopefully this trend continues, and we'll see next Monday when we do this video. It's still going up, and I'll be even more excited. In the Hive Mapper Discord, if you go to the town hall chat, there is an announcement that they are going to have some type of town hall session with the CEO discussing the quarterly progress and planning for the future. So, you know, for those who can attend that at 11 a.m. the Pacific time, I, I, I don't know. Um, might want to try to, to, to see what's going on with that. But there's absolutely no updates on the shipping of the B. Um, if you are waiting on the regular HDC dash camera, the processing orders from January 11th, that was from a month ago and have not had any updates since. Moving on to Bit Harvest, I don't think there's really been any updates uh, with those guys. I know they're doing some behind the scenes things, trying to add some more projects. I've seen some discussion of that behind the scenes. So, we know that uh they're still working it i know they started selling these cool little cases and stuff for your devices that say bit harvest and they got t-shirts and some stuff like that if you want some swag from them one thing i did discuss last week that i told you i was buying into was the bit harvest token this is the token that they use to where you can buy the firmware and stuff like that you know i told you all if y'all seen any of my previous videos i had it scrolling that i bought a bunch of this um very good amount actually and it was at 0. 0.000 something. Um, so I'm, I'm very much up in a profit. But um, there's it, still not a lot of liquidity with this. So, you know, when people sell, it does come down some. And, but when you buy, it does go up some. What I was doing is, you know, I bought a little bit of Solana on Coinbase, moved it to Phantom. Phantom, I swapped it with Jupiter Exchange, and I got some BHST. I also, for well over a week, I also 
was getting my IOT. I tell y'all every evening while I'm playing Call of Duty and losing to some little kid. Um, I download all my IOT, five, six thousand worth, and then I'm converting, I converted that to BHST. So I did that for a couple of days. I want to say six, seven, eight days, something like that. Accumulated to what I thought was pretty good. Then I remembered I had some in a pool. It was I had some in an IOT pool and a juke pool. So I collected that back just so I can kind of save it all in one spot and kind of refigure out what I want to do with it after this price drop that we had a while back. And um, I got a couple hundred thousand VHST that I'm just holding on to, and I'm not going to dump it. I'm not going to sell it. I, I want to see it get back to a penny, to be honest with you. If it gets back to a penny, I'm going to be extremely happy, extremely happy. It was not a penny at one point. So, you know, it's uh, it, it's had some different price discovery, whatever you want to call it. But as you can see, you know, it was up here at a penny for a while and even came down. And it was still at a penny and it came down to 0.008. This is when we had a price drop with all the crypto. And then it was almost at a penny again. And then somebody had a whole bunch of it. They got a hold of it. It dropped it back down to this 0 0.002003 level. And I just started accumulating again. So, yes, this hurt. I ain't gonna say it didn't hurt. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I'm accumulating here with the hope that it goes back up to here. That's what crypto is about. I'm not going to go and take a loan out. I'm not going to use any money. I don't care if I lose. And I mean, I'm only use money that I don't care if I lose or not. And a lot of it is just other crypto that I'm just exchanging, swapping back and forth. And that's all I'm doing with it. So, you know, nothing on this channel is financial advice. It talks about what I do. It talks about hobby, fun stuff, whatever like that. Chances, gambling, you know, basically a lot of scratch off. I'm saying if this has any chance to go back up to a penny, why not swap a little bit of it? You can swap for it at um, Jupiter, Phantom Wallet, um, what I use. But make sure that you're getting the BHST token where the address starts with BHST. The last two letters are J-O in the contract. Please make sure you're getting the right BHST. There are some others out there that are not the correct token. Contract for this one is BHST. See if I can find it right here. BHST and then JO is the last at the end. So Fry. I'm not spending a lot of time on, the, on these two projects at all. Fry, the Discord is going. Ape, you know what? They have some FIPS that are in some polls, and apparently people have been waiting and being, I don't want to say coaxed into this project. Everybody makes their own decisions about these projects. I tell you all, all the time, you make your own decision on this project, whether it fails or it succeeds well, nobody knows. Fry, people have been. I don't want to say lead. I don't know what word I want to use, but folks, but we know that when they was looking at equipment, it gave you an unverified token amount of what your rewards would be in a verified token. And of course the verified token was crazy. It was like 200 something tokens versus like 85 for unverified. So here we go right here. You have where Unverified 107, verified 323. Well, sounds like you want to do the verified, of course. Not so fast, my friends. People are losing their minds. Again, Grumpy says rightly so, because I'd be very upset also that you have to burn your tokens. Not all of them, of course, but a certain amount. And I don't even know what the amount is. I'm not going to look into it because I'm not in this project. But you have to burn your tokens. Basically, you're paying after you've already paid for this this miner for $250 that when we figured out last time you look at the rewards was going to take you 500 plus days, 500 plus days to ROI. But the tokens you've been making so far trying to ROI, well, they want you to burn those to get verified. I'd be upset too. I told you all I have, I'm not touching this project. And this is just another reason why I'm not touching this project. Y'all want to attack me, y'all can attack me. Y'all want to say I misunderstand, but this is what I'm reading in here. There's different tiers, and then, you know, you want to move from tier one to tier two. You got to do this, and 
is a free tier, but you know what? I, 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 this makes me question a lot of things. So this does kind of make sense why I couldn't figure out why would you vote to reduce multipliers a while back? Why would you vote supposedly to reduce rewards? Well, now, now you have a unverified T1 free verified T2 paid verified, which of course they're not forcing you to do anything, but you know, like like this person says, it. They just one was originally discussed. Look, I, I'm spending way too much time on on fraud, and, and I'll go back to what I said before. I'm not touching it. Um, out the, there's a part of me I was contemplating, contemplating buying the license just to put on a bit harvest device just to be able to bring that to y'all. And at this point, we're watching this shenanigans show going on. I'm not touching it. And unless somebody else can can tell me, you know, or prove to me why. I'm probably taking it down again. That's how upset I am over this. And again, I'm not even in this project, but just to watch these people who are all upset, who have supported this project for how long, and now they're gonna start these shenanigans that you have to pay to get verified to a certain point. I'm curious to see what the reward difference is gonna be. And that's probably what I'll wait for, to be honest, to be fair. I wanna see what the reward difference is gonna be between not verified, T1 free verified, or tier two paid verified. I wanna see what that is. Um, but again, I'm upset over this and I'm not even in this project. I just don't like games and gimmicks like this. It reminds me of another project. Grass is another one. I don't like the gimmicks. I, I Listen, I, I am a YouTube page with 13,000 subscribers. I am nothing special at all. I can't even do green screen right. I can't even make videos consistently. Trust me, I have no reason. Or I should have no reason to knock other YouTubers especially YouTubers that have over 160,000 subscribers. But when they got shenanigans that are being advertised like this, I have serious issues. I have serious issues. You're not going to make $12 an hour with grass. And listen, this isn't clickbait. He actually tries to tell people in his video that this is happening. How is this happening? when there's no tokenomics even released yet. You have no idea how many tokens it is because they got this, some other website that allows you to put up for sale these grass tokens. Listen, I've had a lot of people who have contacted me about this saying that this is possible. But from what I understand is that you, so he's trying to tell people to use Whale's Market. Listen, there have been several, several videos on Whale's Market. I'm not going to get into detail about it. Whale's Market is a place where you can go and pre-sell tokens that have not been released yet. But you're offering this. People are not buying this. And if people are buying this, then they're freaking morons. And it is what it is. Again, and if they do buy it, and then the project goes under, they'll be the first one calling crypto a scam. I guess, I guess you, you can sit here and list on what you think it's going to cost and you can sell a hundred thousand grass points or whatever it is, make up a price and people can buy it. Again, if people buy that on a project like this, that has no full docs yet, has no tokenomics, nothing about a coin being released or anything. You know, I, I'm trying not to be rude about it, but can't stand this type of clickbait because it is clickbait. Nobody's making $12 an hour with grass. Nobody's making a dime with grass right now. Now, am I gonna sit there and tell you that I don't think people can make it that in the future? Absolutely not, because nobody knows the future of this project. There are a lot of people, there are millions of people involved in this project. It's been out for a while. There's a lot of videos out. I can't see it being a project of this size, that many people involved. I can't see it being a project that just goes away in the middle of the night. But why is there no updates on this? Why? There's this new node that's out. Everybody keeps telling me about downloading this new node. Hey, if y'all want to go do that, I'm just sick of playing with it. I'm not putting this on anything that's on my network. I don't trust it. That is only me. I've just seen way too much damage with crypto type security in the past, and it just goes against all my fiber to do it. I am running grass, full disclosure, on all of my bit harvest devices. I tell you all that every week, just to be straight. 
on all my BitHarvest devices, I'm running Grass because those are on separate networks out in the wild and majority of them are on solo networks. So they're not going to be infiltrating anything else. And I'm assuming that BitHarvest has not updated those Grass nodes to the new 2.0 nodes or whatever they are. But I'm not putting these new nodes. I don't care what they pay. Hey, I'll miss out. I'll miss out. But just be careful with the grass. I don't trust it or anything like that. Researching. I have people telling me, especially one guy I really trust you. I've seen him before on my channel. Tell him about SCP. SC Prime, I'm not discussing the actual project. What I am discussing is purchasing the token or swapping the token. Again, full disclosure, I'm straight with y'all. I have purchased some SC Prime with my IOT because SC Prime recently moved over to Solana. And what did that do? Again, I wish I would be able to tell y'all about this sooner. I'm not going to lie, but I didn't know anything about this until, you know, we talked earlier about the, the power of Solana that people just don't want to give it a chance. But let me show you what the power of moving to Solana does, at least for SC Prime up 142% in a week. Now, you saw it come up here, it hit this 48. I'm sure knowing my luck, that's when I was buying because that's just how my luck works. Um, but no, all kidding aside, I bought it between 30 and 40 cents, somewhere around there. And of course it's back down to 39, 40 cents because that's my luck. Um, not everything can be a Kulo token, that's for sure. Um, or whiff, but you know, it was at 16 cents a week ago. I don't know exactly when this merger happened, but you can see how it has gone up again, 131%. It was at 15, 14, 15, 14 cents for a long time. And um, it's up 228% in the last year. Ladies and gentlemen, Again, this is always not financial advice, but I had people tell me about this and I just felt bad that if I didn't pass this on to y'all, I don't know what this token's gonna do from here. It could now go straight from now on. You know, SC Prime is a project that um, you know, deals with hard drive type mining and stuff like that. Um I was told by my friend who really, really does like this project. He has been in this project for a long time. Back even when he got into Helium, he was telling us in the Helium forums about SC Prime. I'm sure the majority of us didn't listen. So somebody like him, who has been mining this for a year or two now, is sure, I'm sure he is looking very pretty right now. But I straight up asked him, and I really trust this guy. Y'all have seen him in my channel before. I asked him, would you suggest I even, I have packs of hard drives here that are no good anymore for what we use them for that have been wiped. And I said, would you suggest anybody get into this? And he said, no, purchase the token. And again, that was earlier last week. And he did tell me, to be honest, early last week about it. And I blew him off because everything I knew about SC Prime before that was in this range right here. Again, I'm passing it on to y'all. Not financial advice. We have no idea what's going to happen. This token could, could go back to 15 cents. Who knows? You know how it is with the hype, with change of the merger and the change of the blockchain or whatever. And we don't know what's going to happen with it at this point going forward. Again, I just wanted to pass it on to y'all. So that is about it for today. Um, I keep changing my mind if I even want to bring this up, but I feel like I have to just warn people. The previous project that some of us were in that brought a lot of y'all to my channel still has the gimmicks going. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to even give them enough cred to even mention their name. All I'm going to tell y'all is it's rinse and repeat, rinse and recycle over and over again. They're not going to allow, or they're allowing only your, you know, personal devices. Then all of a sudden you can't bring your devices no more. Then we're allowing you to bring your own devices. Now they're back to no more, new, no more your own devices. You have to buy devices from us. Even though these still owe people thousands and thousands and four, five, six thousands of dollars that they purchased devices and never got those devices into these days. And when they ask where the devices are, they got banned from Discord, banned from Twitter, 
and everywhere else. People, do your research. Do research on the projects you want to get into. If a project sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. This particular project, you can't find one positive thing about them. You can't. When you look up their name on YouTube, there's not a single positive video. I get reports back of the Discord. I'm not going to tell you how I'm doing that, but I can see what's going on in Discord. And I see these new names popping up and these people who are continuously falling for it. How? How are you not doing research into these projects? Every project, everything, video, everything you always see on any YouTuber, majority of the time is D-Y-O-R, do your own research. How are you not doing research? The only positive stuff you see on there is when they put out their own stuff on Medium. To this day, I don't trust anything on Medium.com anymore because that project taught me that they're putting their own propaganda out. Still waiting to see a station on top of, of Walmart or some type of report about it. You don't hear about that no more. All these people who used to be in this project before who have all these tokens who eventually questioned certain things and got booted out. Now all those tokens are getting wiped out to all be put back into a one main certain token. And guess what? From what I'm reading and what I'm being told, if you're not in the project, that's not happening because you have to be in the project for that to happen. Not that I even think that that token be worth anything. There's always an excuse and always an extension of why this ain't happened. It's always people on social media who are out to get them or something like that. No, it's not. It's because you're constantly going around in circle in this big circle of life of lies, 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 and lies, and lies. I'm not going to spend any more time on it. It's just a reminder to tell people, do your own research. If you're looking into a project, do some searches. Just YouTube is not the end all, but when you can't find a positive anything on a project, that is a red flag. Don't, don't, don't automatically think that you stumbled on something that nobody else knows about. And that's how you're going to make all kinds of money. Cause you're early. No chances are that's a red flag. And when you know that anybody who questions anything gets booted from a discord, that's a red flag. Don't let projects tell you there's a reason why they can't be doxxed. This is the year 2024 into crypto. Every project should be doxxed. Don't, don't listen to the, to the, the BS of a project doesn't need to be doxxed because of this reason. We just want to concentrate on, we want you to concentrate on the project itself. There's a reason why there's that they're not being doxxed. There's a reason why you can't find a video with their face on it or them talking about it. This project, we were supposed to be doing these AMAs and videos that they kept promising they would do. And it was always an excuse why they couldn't do it. Please be careful. I don't want to see any more videos on YouTube with people saying I lost four grand, five grand, six grand, or certain other YouTubers that I personally know who lost thousands of dollars with this project, who don't want to get flamed or don't want to get copyright stuff like I did when I had their permission to do videos. And then when we had a falling out, they go to YouTube and say, that's a copyright. He didn't have our permission. Yes, they still were sharing my links to my videos on the Discord before I called that out and then they got deleted. Please, y'all be careful. Take y'all money and buy into good projects. Y'all might not be 100% early. Your profit margin might not be good, but there are several people like us that are here to help y'all. And I'm going to say it again like a broken record. Do your research. If you can't find certain things about a project you're looking into, whether it's about the one I'm talking about or any of these new projects, because guess what? At some point there was IO, there was another, another project. I can't remember what the name of it is now. Then it became IO five. Then IO five goes away. You know, now they got this project that I'm talking about. And at some point that project's going to go away and there'll be other projects, whether or not these people affiliated with them or not. I'm not saying that I'm just saying they're going to be other projects. Somebody sent one in um, Discord that says, hey, look at this project. Another project that got called out and all of a sudden disappears. 
It's crypto. It's going to happen. The only thing you can do is take care of yourself and be a detective and look into things. I'm rambling on. Y'all know I can't stand doing that. I rambled on for 10 minutes now. So, again, I'll be on a conf- uh, at a conference um, for communications and stuff like that, seeing what's new in the RF world for my main job, and we'll see what's, what's happening with that. Um, and, you know, I'll try to do some updates. If I see something cool, at, at, you know, I might do some, some YouTube shorts. From uh, I didn't have this YouTube channel really last year when I went to this uh, conference. At least it wasn't really kicked off like, you know, as popular as it is now. So you might see some YouTube shorts and some YouTube videos going on of some different things, and we'll see, you know, I'll see how that works out. Who knows? But thank you all for watching, um, and we'll see you all in the next video, whenever that might be.